Today I would like to share with you a way you can add reCAPTCHA to your ReactJS projects. If you use the internet for the last year or so, you've probably seen this little widget here all over various websites on the internet. It's a clever little widget by Google where it will detect if you are a robot or not. Now the specific implementation detail of this widget is not well known to the public, but it, you just have to trust it. You don't have to type those old-fashioned captures where you have to identify pictures and uh, words in the picture. So this is a much easier way. All you have to do is click on the little box and it will detect whether you are a robot or not. Now I want to show you a way where you can add this little widget to your ReactJS projects. Now let's say you have a website where you are building an email submission form and you want to check to make sure the user is not a robot before they submit their emails. So today we're going to build a little app using the React Recapture NPM module and we will use this project to verify the user that they're human first before you can actually submit your projects. So let's get started. I already have an application here. It's a simple create React app. It's a very bare bone. I just install it. And we are going to install the React Recapture module to your code. Now I already done that, so I'm gonna give you a few seconds to install that. All you have to do is type npm install save React Recapture. Now you have this project in your package JSON and you have it installed, you can immediately start using it. Now the first thing you need to do is you actually have to include this script here to your base HTML. So you don't have to bundle this stuff with your React.js project, but you do have to um, link this JS file here at the end of your HTML file. So it can load in the recapture API file from Google and here I'm using the onload callback method with a explicit render flag. You can read more, read more about it on the recapture website, but for now let's just do this. Add this to the very end of the public index HTML file. And then we're gonna go into app.js and we're gonna import recapture from the, the module. Now you have the recapture uh, components in your React.js projects. Let's get it started. Now I added a simple text field to the intro under the intro div, and then I added a button. All it does is it handles the system. when the user click on it, it handles a subscription events. So the application looks like this at the moment. It doesn't do anything. Um, so we're the first thing we're gonna need to do is to define the handle subscribe method. So we're gonna do handle subscribe. So the way it works is this application in the constructor, I have a state called is verified. This is a flag for you can set for the user. So before they completed any captcha, this is gonna be set to false because they haven't verified themselves yet. So in the handle subscribe function, all we're doing is we're checking if the state of is verify is true. If it's true, then we just we tell the user uh, you have successfully subscribed. And then you can do your subscription function down here. Now for this simplicity of this demo, we're just gonna alert the user. Now if they have not been verified, we can tell them to please verify that you are a human. So this is a very simple function and since we're calling this dot handle subscribe within the render, we have to make sure that this is bind to the correct context. So we have to do this dot handle subscribe equals this dot handle subscribe dot bind this. Now if we test the application, if I press the subscribe button, it says please verify you're human. Great. So this is exactly what we want and it's time to add in the recapture components. Now if we refer to the documentation page here, you can actually get the component like this. We're just going to copy it right below the subscribe button. Now this will have a very basic properties in there. 
Now this thing called site key, this is a key that you actually need to go to Google um, Recapture, Google.com Recapture to get, to get a key for your website. So for me, I have added a key, a new key for Recapture for Pentacode. And here's the key. All you need is this value here and put it in here. Since we're testing this locally on localhost, we need to whitelist the localhost domain. So for me, I have pentacle.com and localhost enabled to allow this key. So now this will be able, you can run this on the on localhost for you to test on. But be sure to remove localhost when you release this to production. So now I have a onload callback. This is a function where you can, this is a prop where it takes a function where it will call the callback when this widget is loaded. So for now, we need to make a function here called recapture loaded. This is a simple verification function that tells us that the capture has loaded. It will simply log this message. So we're going to do the same here, this dot recapture loaded equals this dot recapture loaded, fine, this. So now if we run this app, this callback is not defined, that's right, we need to call this dot recapture loaded. And now this will make, a, this when the recapture object is loaded, it will call this function. Now if we look at the council log, as you can see the, the widget appear here. If I refresh, so when this is loaded, you see, you see the message, capture successfully loaded. So this is a good callback for us to check that the widget has been successfully loaded. Now we get to the good part. So we, what we want to do is when the user checks this, we want to set the flag, if successful, we want to set the flag is verified to true. Now how do we do this? This component actually takes a callback function called verify callback. So it's another function we need to define. So here, verify callback, we have to define this function called verify callback. You can call it whatever you want, but it's a function where it will get called when the user successfully web verified. So we're just gonna call it verify callback. And then it takes an up uh, parameter called response. So we have to do this dot verify callback equals this dot verify callback bind this. So now verify callback it's the function that will get called when the response when the user successfully verified themselves. So for us, all we have to do is to check if response is defined, then you can do this dot set state is verify, set it to true. And that's it. That's your app right there. This is all you need to do for this to implement a recapture subscription um, app. So if I click on subscribe without verifying, then it says, please verify you're a human. But if I verify myself by clicking on this button here, Google says, hey, I'm verified. Now if I click on subscribe, it says, you have successfully subscribed. Very nice and simple. So I hope if you need more information, you can go to this module's uh, NPM page to find out. There's a lot more callbacks to this, like the expired callback when the user haven't done anything and it expired. So um, you can read more about it from uh, google.com slash recapture. And I hope you find this tutorial useful and I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching my video and your continued support for Pentacode. Visit the Pentacode website for more web dev articles, news, and tips and tricks. And be sure to subscribe to our social media channels to get updates regularly. I'll see you in the next video.